Welcome back to Tarot by the Bay. I'm David. All right, Lisa Murkowski, Alaska Senator. Not exactly a fan of Trump, and Trump is definitely not a fan of her. She was one of the few people, a uh, few Republican senators to vote to convict Donald Trump. Uh, Trump had her primaried, and she's won those primaries. And uh, she came out with some interesting comments this weekend. Um, she was quoted saying, I wish we... I wish that as Republicans, we had a nominee I could get behind. I certainly can't get behind Donald Trump. Um, asked if she would become an independent. Murkowski said, oh, I think I'm very independent minded. Now trying to pivot that a little bit. And then she added, I just regret that our party is seemingly becoming a party of Donald Trump. Well, she at least sees it as it is and, and calling it as it is. But then the follow-up question was, would she become an independent? And Murkowski said, I'm at, I am navigating my way through some very interesting political times. Let's just leave it at that. Okay. So she has, uh, once upon a time, uh, she lost, uh, uh, it was in 2010? Tea Party rose in 2010. She was at sharp odds with the insurgent right wing of her party. And she lost the primary in 2010 to a Republican named Joe Miller. And then she won that seat, becoming the second candidate ever to win in a writing campaign in a general election. So, um, yeah. Uh, will she become an independent? Let's, let's find out. You know, what's the advantage of that? It's one less Republican when it comes to heading up committees and such. What's the energy around Lisa Murkowski? Four of Swords. She is taking a step back and she's really thinking about uh, the future of her political future and the future of the party, even the future of the country. As she said in that article, you know, she's not a fan of Donald Trump and she wishes her party would, would reconsider who they want leading them because this party is becoming that of Trump. She's thinking about What's going on and does she have to step away from the Republican Party in order to save the country? Page of Cups. Because she understands, you no, know, she's against the extreme right. The Freedom Caucus, you know, the Tea Party movement led to the Freedom Caucus, uh, which is also rolled in the evangelicals. And the, uh, the extremists in the Republican Party have changed the values of the Republican Party to the point where she doesn't know she she can't drink from the Republican cup anymore because it's fish water with a fish in it and they keep telling her it's fine wine and she knows it's not. Underneath it all is the moon card. Uh, she won't reveal what she's going to do, at least not yet. We got eclipses coming up though, so that could play a part in it. She sees that the Republican Party is or factions of it are howling at the moon. And she's not going to be one of the Republican crazies. She's going to be a conservative, not an extremist. In the past, we've got the King of Cups. Um, her father was a governor, and that's how she got appointed. Um, she did not like Sarah Palin as John McCain's running mate. As a senator from uh, from Alaska, she knew what the governor of Alaska was like. So what this is telling me, uh, so you got that. She doesn't like the Freedom Party, the, the Tea Party, and the extremism that came from it. She's an emotionally mature person, person who makes emotionally mature decisions. And the Republican Party, once upon a time... We could argue we're adults in the room as well as the Democrats. Now they're petulant teenagers or, or tweens or kids. And she doesn't want any part of that. So she's she's sending a shot across the bow of the Republican Party the, to Mitch McConnell and whoever replaces Mitch McConnell when he uh, steps down from his leadership role. And she's even like, you know what? I can leave. I can go independent. Uh, she, she is setting it up. And the thing is, 
maybe not as much in the Senate as in the House. <coughs> but the Republican Party doesn't care. The inmates are running the asylum. And acting like a mature adult gets you nothing in this current party. I know some people will disagree, but that really is the case right now because conservatives have lost control of the GOP. The uh, Freedom Caucus has taken over control. They don't have full control over the Senate yet, but they definitely have control over the House. And she's messaging, but that messaging might be for other senators as well. They're, she could be the first leading uh, a, a little bit of a, a wave here. Overarching energy is the Empress. She's been a senator for a while in Alaska. She's done good things for the Alaskan people and representing them. She's also, you know, again, uh, looking out for what's in the best interest of the country. And if that means impeaching a president who... Uh, 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 just needed a few favors from uh, the president of Ukraine or led an insurrection to stop the peaceful transfer of power. Well, you know what? The best interest of the country is that you don't let somebody who leads an insurrection against the country ever wield the powers, the levers of power in the country again. The lesson to be learned from all this she is showing that she has integrity, that she's not going to go into the emotional loony bin with the rest of the folks. And I don't think she understands why the Republican Party is so beholden to Trump. She understands it is. She just doesn't understand why, because it's really obvious to her that this guy is cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. And she's not going to play that game. And will it be political suicide for her? Yeah, maybe. Might very well be. But when you have integrity, sometimes you got to do things that are not good for you on the short term. Because integrity, integrity is doing the right thing when nobody's watching. And the right thing is often not the easy thing. In this case, folks are watching. So, you know, and so... You know, it's sometimes it's easy to do the right thing when nobody's watching. It's also easy to do the wrong thing when nobody's watching because, oh, nobody's watching. Nobody's going to see this. I could just take a shortcut. No. Nope. You can take the long cut when nobody's watching. You'll take the long cut when people are watching, but there's more pressure when people are watching. Outcome is the Knight of Swords. She is thinking about things. She's planning, but when she makes up her mind, she's going to do it. And she's not rushing into this recklessly. She has thought about it. She's seen what's happening. Where we used to be, where we are now, what's driving it, what can I do about it, why do I want to do this about it, integrity, decision. Lisa Murkowski, it looks like at the very minimum, is going to move to be an independent. If I were reading that card and coming to a conclusion. Let's see if that's the case. That's so spirit, that Knight of Swords. Is that Lisa Murkowski moving towards... Uh, being an independent. I mean, him forbid you be a Democrat. <laughs> we don't want, there's only so much we can ask for. But uh, an independent, I mean, in, in some ways, she already is kind of an independent. She is right, she's independent thinking. Uh, certainly, her and Susan Collins have framed themselves as moderates. They're at least willing to listen. They sometimes hold their nose and vote the party line. You know, trusting Mitch McConnell on things. But uh, Miss Murkowski seems to be a little less, um, I hate to say it, but naive compared to Susan Collins. Lisa, there's no quotes from Lisa Murkowski out there. Oh, I'm sure he's learned his lesson from this. Yeah. Kavanaugh and Trump. Oh, God. <laughs> I, just, I think of the Saturday Night Live sketch when I think Kavanaugh got a... Uh, elected and 
they were doing like the they're having the, the male sausage party and Susan Collins got invited because she cast a vote that allowed Kavanaugh to get in and she was feeling really uncomfortable because she's never been in a sausage party before. <laughs> oh yeah, I don't think he learned his lesson. Okay. Is Lisa Murkowski um I really should. I'm going to get a reading on the Saturday Night Live sketch if I keep going like this. Uh, Lisa Murkowski is talking uh, about independent thinking. Will she leave the Republican Party to at least become an independent or cut ties with the Republican Party? Let's see what we get. Ace of Swords. Well, she's, she's going to do what she's going to do. And I'm talking about cutting ties. Swords cut. Sword of Truth. You know, in the end of the day, the Republican Party is not her Republican Party. If Liz Cheney, George Conway, and these others form a new party, she would join that. Yeah, she's going to leave them out in the cold. It's a, She will at least become an independent. She will leave the Republican Party. This is leaving that organization here. Uh, you know, it's a, not a decision taken lightly. There's, um, uh, there's going to be a loss in financial support. It's going to cause trouble uh, with primaries and stuff like that. Um, Alaska might be different, though. It's it's certainly inhabited by a different group of people with a different mindset than I would say uh, the continuous 48 states. So she might be able to explain that to them. We'll see. But yeah, decline in values, change in values, flipping, not being on on team Republican anymore. Again, looking at values. Uh, this costs me looking at the money situation. Am I going to run for re-election? Because I'm going to lose the money if I'm out of here. So what's my financial state? Do I really want to do this? Can I make up the money? That, that's if you're looking at purely from a financial. Um, but coins are also values. The Republican values have changed and she's outside the Republican values. She's watched what looks like a decline in values. Do I want to be a part of this is this my legacy it's a hard decision a decision she doesn't want to make nobody likes leaving the group people like being parts of group they don't like being lone you know the lone wolf or the independent on this one but this is a hard decision for her to make but here's the thing when you've got the ace of swords and you have integrity you've got to make the hard decisions Overarching energy is the Seven of Swords sneaking off in the middle of the night. I don't think she's going to sneak off in the middle of the night. No, in some ways, um, two ways. No, I'm not even going to go that route. I'm going to go, I think she feels like her party got stolen away from her. The, the values, the, the worth, the uh, the platform there isn't there anymore. It's people came in and stole the sword of truth from the Republican Party to the point where the Republican Party now is a shell of what it was when she first joined. She cares about the United States and doing the right thing. She cares about the Alaskan people and doing the right thing for that. That's what makes the decision so hard because it may cost her her ability to do this. You now this could be, you know, she's going to lose on a primary to a, a well-funded Republican. Outcome is the Page of Swords. She... <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, it's the spy in the camp. I was going to say, this is kind of, it's messaging about the change. Uh, you got the you got the ace of swords the the page is somebody who's not really um a master uh with this i was wondering if she was going to tepidly leave the republican party it could be that she starts to move away if donald trump has his health incident and then the republican party's in turmoil she doesn't distance herself too far but I think what it is, is this is starting that new journey, that, that, that messaging that, no, I've got my Ace of Swords. I'm sending the messaging out. 
that I'm leaving. It's very likely, I would say, that she is going to, at the very, very, very minimum, she's going to move away from the extremism. She will vote alongside Democrats or be much more willing to vote alongside Democrats with things. Um, will she uh, uh, leave the Republican Party? That kind of depends on uh, the trade winds there with Donald Trump and how things happen with him. She may not have to leave it. If, if Trump is neutralized, <clears throat> there will no longer be the party of Donald Trump. And maybe she, uh, you know, that page of swords could just be, she tiptoes away or swings her sword away from the Republican party when it comes to uh, supporting Donald Trump. But if Donald Trump is now eliminated from the equation, she doesn't necessarily have to eliminate herself from the Republican Party. So she might move in small incremental steps as we get closer and closer to the election. Uh, and again, and I get it, uh, you know, you got the sort of truth. She understands what she needs to do, and it's a, a huge burden to do it, especially if you like being a senator and all the trappings that come with it. Um she may not have to go to extremes. Eh, she might have to. Who knows? Uh, but I think it's going to be a dynamic situation with her. And I probably won't be reading on her again for a long time, if ever. So we'll just park it right here at this point and we'll see what happens with it. All right. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video and supporting my channel. I appreciate it. Thank you for your likes, shares, comments, everything you do to feed the algorithm so our video makes it out to a wider audience. To folks just discovering this channel recently or for the first time, welcome. I hope you found this reading insightful, and I'll catch you on the next one. Take care.